All right. Let's take a look at this. Cool. Yeah, neat. And you also sent me reference. It's cool how it actually does that. If you look at the beginning, though, looking at this. There's something that feels a bit more connected with her looking at the staff. Let's close this here. There, I don't know. There's something that is very subjective. I mean, you know, it depends how performancey you want to do this and how she wants to look at the the one, or maybe she doesn't have to, doesn't want to. It just seems like throughout the rest of the shot, <clears throat> there's a lot of connection there. She really follows follows it's all very nice all very smooth it's all good stuff nice poses it just feels here eyes closed and then she kind of just looks up and then just kind of casually grabs this and i wonder if that would be something like in a reference where she would actually look down to see where she grabs it. but maybe that's your whole point so i don't know i'm not quite sure about the history of this and i don't know um there's nothing in the email that's still kind of the only thing that kind of caught me, or that caught my eye. I like, <clears throat> just felt a bit just off. Just kind of so casual and weirdly, it just felt like a move. I'm animating, arm up, arm down, and I just catch it. While the rest is so focused where I have to look at it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I'm <laughs> reacting to this, just that section so much. It's also because of, just from an animation point of view, it goes back this way. Let's turn this on here. And then it comes back pretty much the same way. And it's just one of those things where you don't really want to do, you know, you don't want to go one way and then come back the same way. If at least there's a bit of a, a different arc and like imagine this is your A and B and this is your C. You don't want to go A to B back to A. You want to have some sort of difference in contrast. If it's too repetitive, it just makes it too CG. Yeah, that's, I mean, and I'm also, have to be careful covering <clears throat> character's eyes, especially when the eyes are open. It's okay, I guess, when it's here, because your eyes are closed. But I think like that, then you could technically just do, shoo, maybe grabs it like this, and it's just a different type of grab. I don't, don't want to linger too much on that beginning, but that's just kind of something. I do like how that staff moves, though, how the back goes up first, giving this more weight. I think that's cool. Same thing here with this arm going up, kind of goes down the same way, just feels hitting one pose, and then I go back to where I was. Where's the ending here? Kind of ish here. See how it's pretty much the same thing. So that would be my biggest comment for the beginning. Once she's here, those moves are really nice. I like how there's a change there. Um, for super polished stuff, once the foot's down here, um, you just have feels like just a foot roll dialed in but even she moves it over here the foot i mean with the whole leg and then as as she does the foot roll down you could still have a slight rotation in y with that heel going over here pivoting off the toes that's for some super polished stuff i was a big fan of foot details it's like here where it feels like the the foot roll just goes straight up and then the leg comes out. But if you're already going to do an arc like this and moving out, you can imagine that A, as your foot goes up, you do a foot roll plus a tilt over this way. Like your leg muscles are already kind of firing this way. And your roll is kind of going off this way to kind of anticipate that rotation over, if that makes sense. That's cool. There's so much detail. I'm gonna look at where I'm, what I'm focusing on. I should technically focus on the root first, <laughs> not on detail things. But you got good moves here. I feel like through here, just looking at this, I will probably reduce the amount of weight here on that hip and go a bit lower, so that when you lift this leg, now all the weight is on this because it feels like through here. There's still some weight on it. I mean, you are leaning on this, but you could still, 
imagine there's a little bit of weight on this leg. And now that you're letting go and lifting this, all the body weight is on this hip side here. So you could have that side of the hip shoot up just a bit more. And right now, as that leg goes up, I don't really see the difference in the hips. That's so cool. So you got your weight on there. Now you take a step forward and that way is on the leg. Same thing here, you can probably go a bit lower so that when you do this again, you can feel how that hip is taking everything weight-wise. There's something, this is going to be super picky, but I just feel through here. And I know that's the leg swinging over, but there's something this is super subtle, but there's something about the root. Just during this section, it feels like it's accelerating. Like there's not that much movement here. It's pretty still. I know it's, I know it's pivoting off here of that leg. But then it moves really, really fast and then stops a bit quickly right there. And I know this comes down and stops that move. And you do have your hips straightening, which is good because that's this this part of the foot, right? So this is stopping the root going forward. So this shoots up as a stopping point, which then should shoot up the hip, which I feel like you have right here. But you could push that a tiny bit. It's there. There's just something when I watch this. Right there, just something. It's super picky. This might just be like a frame or two spacing, but there's just something where Everything kind of moves over too quickly. It might even be more what's going on up here. So it might be a slight reduction in spacing in the root, <clears throat> but it could be because the root and the head and everything else is moving over this way so quickly and stop so quickly where I would drag this part. It feels like the leg is going to swing around and drag and pull everything with it, right? Look at that swing right there that's the swing that's going to take the root with it and then the root stops but during this section right there I feel like too much of the upper part is moving maybe that's what I'm reacting to too much of this is moving where this should be delayed and draggy and an overlap through there the other thing is and I'm looking at overall style where it's not super cartoony or stylized. It's fairly nice and smooth, fairly sticking to the reference sort of timing. You know, I look at our movements, even how quickly she throws this up in the air. It was all pretty good. And the reason why I'm mentioning this, although be careful, you have a lot of movement right through here, especially this, that's a big, big move look at the head too almost feels like a pop because then from here to here you're slowing everything down a lot so again a super picky note this feels too much i would reduce how much the head goes back and the arms because right now we're slowing down a lot right through there so watch this in real time right there it feels like a pop Boop, right there Boop. but again the reason why I'm mentioning this, why it's so smooth, is because when you do this, that move right through there, that leg could use a frame or two more going this way, meaning it's just a bit too fast. Right there, it just a tad, just a tad. It just feels suddenly, supernaturally fast and stylized borderline stylized it's not i'm not saying it's you know super cartoony it's just suddenly the movement becomes exaggeratedly fast versus here none of it is except the section where there's a pop yeah i think that's what i'm reacting to then this is weird too i'm looking at the root and back to the root she goes this way and then stops. This is the tricky one. The speed at which the root goes back. 
And the reason why I'm reacting to this is because the only way she can go this way is by pushing with this leg, pushing down to propel her back, if that makes sense, in terms of purely body mechanics. So in order to do that, the only way she's doing it right now is through a foot roll. And again, spacing wise, this, this is a lot. If you look at the lines here, right there. That's suddenly a lot of movement, and it's also only over this frame. So again, this feels like a pop, and the rest is a bit too smooth. But in order to make it work that she moves this far this way, there are a couple of things. You can either suddenly go down with the root and then go over, so that not that she has to fully bend this leg and it would take away from this nice line, but if there's any way you can just subtly imply that the root, she goes down a bit to push herself off, or if you want to keep this line, she does a little bit of a move this way to anticipate and then you and then go back. So there are at least two ways you can do this where you can make the physics work a bit better. I'm just not quite buying that quick move through a foot roll. And then the other thing that's a bit tricky, again, this is all because of the timing you're setting at the beginning, the realism or somewhat realism. When she goes back here, this feels too fast. So she goes this way, that that's too fast because right now she is straight up here the, the only way she can move this way and fall forward is through just physics she's up here and the off balance of this leg the leg going this way will make her tip over this way but there's nothing where this leg is like this and she can again through a foot roll and calves and leg muscles have her go forward this is purely i'm pushing over Hold and drop. But if you watch this timing, whoop, 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 too fast. You would have to go here and give this maybe three or four more frames. Just so she hangs a bit more and you can buy it that this leg and this move will bring her back. Because this just seems like I'm pushing myself up and I'm dropping. But this speed feels like, hmm, I'm really pushing myself forward, which doesn't quite work right there that it feels like a magic which you can argue magic magic but in terms of body mechanics it feels like she magically moves over there and that stop is abrupt too she goes over here right there uh i hate to say this but look at her um what crack here dang right there that's where it starts to lock. So if you look at that, there's even a bit of a pop. If you look at the lines here, how it goes over and then snaps into place and then it just kind of rotates over. And then visually you have that weird lock of this line. This line, hold on, let me just bring this back. And draw a line here. You can see how it totally pivots off of that visual line there. So it's a, it's a weird combination of you're moving over and then pop into place. Stop too fast. Like there should be a stop, stop, ease in and then come back. It's kind of a over here. I'm exaggerating how far she has to go over here. Not, not this far. But you want to go over here, maybe till here, and then come back into this. And I think that is also going to help you in terms of not pivoting off this super straight hip line here. Just kind of a visual weirdness there. It's almost, it almost feels like you want to add half a second to the end. We're getting to the end here. So she goes over there. I buy this. There's a bent leg, which means that she can push the leg this way. And she's leaning a bit. So I think that weight shift I buy. But then you go over there. Oh, it's the way you cut it. So you have this frame. And I have two more frames of nothing. So I would just cut that. Because right now we're heading into... And then she freezes. But even then it feels like you're doing... And you almost want... Well, it depends what comes afterwards. But it's almost like you want to hold this pose. Kind of ease into this. With a little bit of overshoot and come back. There's something where... It's almost like you're introducing a new idea. And then we're cutting out of it. We're not finishing it. So 
a nice move though. So I think that would be generally for just weight shifts and the root and all that good stuff. I think overall from here on like your hands and your arms seem really nice. There's some good stuff there. Hold on, let me just go. Let me check one arm here. I'll look at this guy. And by this guy, I mean the arm. This feels a bit weird spacing-wise. When it goes over here, <laughs> right through there, <clears> it <throat> has a nice arc. And then right there, it's a pop. Oh, we're back to where... I mentioned the pop in here, you can see it in the arm, kind of pops over, and then it's small and spacing again. And then it has this weird lock of almost through here, that wrist is locked in space, versus going over this way, this way, this way, and coming back. Watch out for that. It's okay. It's nice. That's cool. Let's look at this one. Again, a little bit of pop there which we talked about it's nice oops right there again it'll pop there There's something that's suddenly too fast I'm looking at the spacing and then here from here to here it's suddenly too fast which and again that's where that leg suddenly feels too fast and pops but hold on hold on What is this? Frame, there's the frame. 121 for me, hold on, hold on. Let me just quickly check something here. This might be in your render. <laughs> Sorry, I have allergies. Um, just for some reason this morning, I really kicked into high gear. Okay, hold on. So you have one frame, all right, so we're here, and then you have one frame here. Oh, look at that, it's your render. Your render is missing frames. Ah, see that? We're missing this frame. Ha! I see. So, that, with that in mind, let me quit this. And look at that. Well, well, well. I thought, well, let's look at the render. It's going to be all nice. And I can judge the motion blur. So performance-wise, it would be the same at the very beginning. But yeah, 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 yeah. Your, your pops are gone. Ah, okay. So all my pop comments, I would say disregard it's like <laughs> disregard a lot of my first 18 minutes holy moly but interesting that's still good to know so that if you put your render on your demo reel um red flag don't and put your play blast on there check your render all right well let's continue then I'm looking at arms yes much smoother so we were stuck with this arm here. I have a, I'm suspecting this is an IK arm, or it could just be a visual thing just right through there, but it feels like it was a bit too straight, giving this a little bit of an IK arm feel. So how the wrist is kind of changing, but that I don't know. That's kind of up to you to check. It seems pretty good, even though through here, that arm seems almost a bit separate compared to what the rest of the body is doing giving this potentially an IK thing, but right through there, it just is too IK-ish for me. Even if it's FK, uh, it feels like you want to add more of an arc to get into something like this. It just feels like suddenly you're a bit too straight. Careful through here, we're, we're in a sticky frame, again, where that wrist just kind of locks and comes down a bit too straight. So if you're going this way, you want to have maybe that kind of a move. A bit more of an arc in there. Like you're coming out here, which is nice. But here you're just getting into 
sticky frame right through there. Coming down a bit too straight. And it feels a bit too IK-ish. Hold on, let me see. No, you still have the sticky frames at the end, so I would still cut out sooner. Looking at the head. So same... This, the stuff that I talked about at the beginning still applies. How this comes back the same way, same way. Weird, no eye contact, which is, could be subjective. That could just be me. But definitely none of those, the pops in that leg in this way. Yeah, and even there was a pop at the beginning as you go up through here. That is all good. The staff is good for sure. There's some funky right at the end here. When you do this, we're back to... It's just like those... It's a tricky thing. Every now and then you have those visual things where it's kind of like the head is stuck through here. Where everything moves, but it's almost like there's a clamp on the head. And then through here visually, it feels like that wrist is stuck in space. Where it moves, and then for two frames... See that? It's kind of pivoting off here. And then suddenly it goes up. Again, this feels IK where it goes straight up, but then the wrist is kind of locked. I have a high suspicion that this is an IK arm. But to go back here, in order to avoid this, you would have to kind of move over with that arm. And you might have to help yourself with moving the chest over a little bit. And this is a bit of a strange feel. Hold on. It's very, very picky, but there's something about... <clears throat> it's almost like this elbow is locked. I know it's not. I know I see it going over to the right, but there's something about here's a dividing line, and now this forearm rotates this way, and then the upper arm rotates this way, and it feels like there's that, that line where we just kind of equally, evenly unfold this arm where you might help yourself with raising that arm a bit through this move so that the um, the upper arm is a bit in a different spot and giving this bit more of an un outwards unfolding and then you come back down into what you have here. <clears throat> Little picky picky visual things. Excuse me, stuffy nose. Um, now we talked about uh, what's it called? Foot rolls. A couple of things in your feet here. Same thing here. This just feels like you're just activating the foot roll in that one channel, one axis, and that's it. Even though she's leaning this way towards us. So you're going to have to pivot off this side of the shoe and tilt over towards us. So if, if there was a camera here, this would feel probably this is the shoe and then this is your, your shin versus shin like that and then the shoe is like this. You know what I mean? You still have a slight curve, but it would if that's your toe and that's the backside of the of the boot, and then here's your shin. You know you want to pivot off this side so that you have. Hope oh, I can make sense here. So that then the toes of your boot are like this. And then you have your the backside of your uh, of your boot, and then your shin like this. So you're kind of leaning more of this side, right? Not sure why I need to go back to red, but let me just do it. Um, and then speaking of legs, careful, you have a bit of an overextension of your IK. Then pop. You pop into this and you pop out. And you can see how far you're kind of crashing your Achilles heel here. But you can see that big pop. There's a lot of movement while the foot doesn't really react to it. Giving this that IK feel again where everything's kind of cut off. That feels a bit better. Even through here, as she goes forward, um, you could tilt one way or in Y, Y rotation where you have the backside of the foot going either way. What is she doing here? It feels like she can go almost come towards us for more profile. But just be mindful that throughout all of your um, animation that when you have foot rolls, do not just activate the foot roll until it just goes up in, in one axis. So straight up. You have to look at, well, what's the angle of my leg? Where is the body leaning towards or going away from or and so on and so on. And then you want to kind of make sure that <clears throat> the, the foot roll is following that angle, if possible. Get your nice, nice finger pose. I really like this, how you go from this to that into a nice, simplified triangle. 
and then changing the hands again. This might be a bit weird. That finger just being separate through there. I'm not super fan of that one. I mean, you know, some of those things are just when you when you frame through it. If I watch this, I don't see that finger. So like some of my comments are for sure ridiculous, but framing through this one finger feels weird. But with motion blur. Let me just ignore the pops, right? And look at the render version. I'm gonna bring this up here so we can see what that hand is doing blur-wise. You know what I mean? I mean, come on. <laughs> if you have uh, that much blur, yeah, you know, my finger comment is not gonna matter. <clears throat> but, why? Well, you know, we are frame by framing things and it's a adjust, but I see some finger waggle there, which is nice. There's some nice stuff there. I like that you're changing into something different, but again, has like a one specific finger out. But again, with blur, you wouldn't see it. And then just look at. Yeah, just really. This really bugs me where in terms of this is pose A, pose B, back to A. There's not even a bit of an overlap or drag in the head. I mean, there's a little bit there, but just watch out for that. I'm not going to look at the head. I, f I thought I saw some other head issues in terms of drag and overlap. I think that's okay. She leads there with that tilt right there, which is really nice. That's cool. Like through here, if she pushes herself off... You could have, she feels a bit, like it's staying the same line. You could have a little bit of chin drop. Like she could drag that head just a bit more through there, especially through this. This still applies that weight shift that feels like she's being pulled. That has nothing to do with the one frame pop. So that still applies. And let's pretend you want to keep this even a bigger reason to bring that head up a bit for some drag. That's all cool here. Then she leads with the head at the end. Cool. I think I'm going to leave it at that. I think that's about it. Whoop, wait, I'm watching something on that hand. On this side. Right there. Seems so. My dog whining, I don't know if you can hear that. He wants to go out. I think what I'm reacting to in real time is how you're doing this, and it's. It feels like you have a, a sudden straight line. Again, this could be just your IK thing. Right through. There. What I'm reacting to is that you're having this, then for a short moment, a straight line through there, and then a drop. <clears throat> and then through there, it's kind of that reverse where it's almost locked here, but there's a lot of movement in the elbow. And then we go back up and then the wrist drags, meaning that right through there, again, this feels a bit like an IK arm. Right there, there's just something funky, but it's also mo mainly how you go here, then you flatten out and you go straight down like this. It just has this kind of feel versus giving this just smoothing out a bit to something, you know, where your your um, curves are a bit softer. This still applies. This still feels a bit slow and straight. Even, I mean, you could go over here, hold, so at this point that arm would be further out this way, and then through this, speed up that part just a little bit. It also feels a bit soft and even in timing, right through there. And I go, I know she's slow and elegant, but. Oh, just a bit even and I think that evenness and timing combined with that straight line of that I suspect IK arm uh, gives a bit of a weird feel all right I'm gonna end it here there's so many picky things you can find you know there's always again I don't know I would look at all those little picky notes fix your render in terms of the blurs so you don't have any missing frames and then you can still judge on your own. Yeah, do I really want to change those finger poses? Because I mean, it's going to be massively blurred. 
it's like you know technically here it's a weird pose because your fingers are right in front of the wrist it feels like that it's a stump where like that feels fairly broken so you want to bring up that wrist a bit here i will bring up that wrist a bit here so it's it feels a bit more like that but even that feels almost broken like you want to go up a bit higher but the reason why i'm saying this yeah but but, but it's just, it's fast and it's going to be blurred so it's kind of up to you do you want to go full hardcore and really fix those poses and even in the blur it might feel nice even though looking at this now i have to say i would fix this it feels really broken but again this in front of the hat with the blur i don't think you're going to notice so you know take all those picky notes with a grain of salt in terms of well if i fix the pops though but i add the blur back is that really all necessary all right leave it at that half an hour critique um it looks good though i mean i like it it's a cool shot and this is the render is nice with the glow big fan of that um but yeah i'm gonna leave it at that thanks everybody for watching this is a long one thank you all right there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.